Hey, what is up you guys and welcome to today's episode of Big Messages for Little Ears. I'm so happy to be back with you another week where we get to spend this little bit of time together learning more about the Bible. And right now we're focusing on questions that you guys have. We have been doing Big Messages for Little Ears, ears for almost a year now, hard to believe. We have talked about a lot over the past year, and so now we're going through a really cool season where y'all get to just send in questions about anything that we have talked about over the past year, and I get the joy of trying to answer all of them. So this week, the question that we are going to be focusing on is some of you are wondering, we talk about saints a lot, right? I mean, we go to St. Francis Episcopal Church. We're named after a saint. So I had some friends that wanted to know, how does somebody become a saint? Or what exactly is a saint? And that can be a very loaded question, but I am going to try to answer it as best I can to help you guys make a little more sense of like what exactly is a saint. Or when we say Saint Francis, what does that mean? So we are going to be talking about that today. So what is a saint? How do you make a saint. Maybe a saint just needs to like look a certain way. So I'm gonna try to like dress as a saint um, and we'll just like see what happens and see if that just kind of makes me a saint. So let's see. I have a saint toolbox right here. Didn't know if you guys knew this but every person that works at a church has a saint toolbox. That was a fib. I just told you guys a fib. But I do have a saint toolbox here so we are going to try to make Miss Felicia saintly today. We're gonna go for it. So most saints are wearing some kind of robe. So I have a robe here that I'll put on. Let's see if it makes a big difference. Here we go. Okay. I'm not perfect at getting dressed. Okay, so now I have the robe on. Do you guys think that I look more like a saint now? Maybe not. I feel like there's still some stuff missing. Sometimes um, saints wear special like necklaces or cords or things like that. So maybe if I put this on, maybe if I put this cross around my neck, I'll look more saintly. What do you guys think? More of a saint? Mm, I feel like I'm still missing some stuff. Maybe... Mm, some saints were also bishops, which meant they got to wear really cool hats or fun things on their head. So maybe if I put a bishop's hat on, maybe I will look more like a saint. Let's give it a try. What do you think? Maybe not there quite yet. I bet saints read the Bible a lot, right? So I'm sure if you like carry around a Bible, you're gonna look like a saint, so. Here I am. Do I look like a saint? It's okay. I honestly feel like, I don't know. I think I still kind of look like Miss Felicia just now in a weird outfit. So I think I just kind of look like I'm dressed a little funny. So I don't think that I did a, a perfect job just now at making myself into a saint. I don't know that that's exactly how you do it. Maybe there's more to it than just looking ugh, like a saint. So maybe, maybe I didn't look like a saint. Maybe I still looked a lot like just Miss Felicia because we can't really make saints. We don't have the power to make saints. Only God actually has that power. So God makes saints by using one thing that we didn't use just now. One thing that I did not um, bring out. And that is this. God makes saints by using the cross. So when Jesus died on the cross, we know he took our sins away and he made us these incredible new people in the image of God. So that's maybe what saints really are. Saints are like God's really special friends. And we can become saints if we accept what Jesus did for us by dying on the cross and then rising from the dead. 
anyone could be a saint if you dedicate yourself to really following Jesus's teachings. So, you know, we might not always look like saints and we might not always act like saints. I bet not even Saint Miss Felicia always acts perfectly saintly. <laughs> but here's the really cool thing. So even though we can't act like saints all the time, even though we might not look like a saint, God still loves us. So saints are not perfect people, but we are forgiven and we are loved by God. And so there you have it. Super quick lesson today, but I just kind of wanted to explain to y'all a little bit about what exactly a saint means, who some of our saints are, is something that we could also dive into if you guys are interested. But yeah, I just wanted to answer that quick question. What exactly is a saint or how do you become a saint? Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Big Messages for Little Ears. As always, I love you guys so, 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 so much. I miss you times 20,000 of that. So, 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 so much. I can't wait for us to be back in person again soon. But in the meantime, be good for your families, make good choices, and I will see you guys next Tuesday for another episode of Big Messages for Little Ears. Have a great week, you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.